coached, obviously, with Daquan Jones and being a veteran, you've got Jeffrey Simmons, you've got high hopes for. What about some of the other guys like Isaiah Mack and Matt Dickerson, Joey Ivey, that you've got to have step up and be a part of this rotation this year? How are those guys coming along, and what do you expect to see out of them? I mean, so far, so good. Where, you know, everything's been like this. It's been Zoom meetings for um, all of the spring. And, I mean, we haven't put pads on. I would say that all of those guys that you mentioned, uh, Mac and, and um, Dickerson, played some snaps for us. Ivy played a little bit of snaps and been in the league a little while. But um, everything, every year is a new year. So those guys got to prove themselves. And, while they're smart, you know, really the game is played with uh, shoulder pads and on the field. So until we put shoulder pads and, and on and get out there on the field, uh, you know, we'll we'll kind of make those uh, make those judgments then. But right, so far so good, you know. Teresa Walker. And coach, uh, having not put on pads, uh, Jeffrey Simmons has talked to us uh, this week, I think it was this week, about how he's wanting to be better. What do you like about him being able to maybe step up now that, uh, you know, there, Jarrell Casey's not here and uh, you need somebody to step up in that area? Yep. And, and really with Jeff, I mean, it's, I mean, he's healthier. So that's going to make a, a big difference. He has another, um, year in our system of learning, learning kind of what we're looking for. Um, you know, so again, I think the talent and the, and the, um, the smarts for him will start to kick in and take over. But, you know, we got to remember he's going on his second year. He didn't play a full season last year. So um, for really, it's just day by day with him. But again, we all know that the talent's there. It's just got to, keep on developing and, and, and working hard every day. Just to follow up, his drive, though, you know, the way he seems like a guy who's pushing to, to constantly improve, how much does that help when you're trying to get somebody to take a jump from one year to the next? Yeah, it matters. I mean, it matters for all of them, but especially for him. He's a, a hard worker, um, extremely driven, and, and more than anything, the kid wants to be good. So I think as we – continue to move forward I know he's eager to get pads on and and get back out there and and start hitting people because again his position and his style of play is physical so um, I'm excited to see him whenever we get shoulder pads on. Eric? Hey, Coach Williams. Uh, I just want to ask you about uh, Laurel Murchison. I, you know, I know you haven't obviously seen a lot of him on the field yet, but I'm curious what you like about him um, and just what what he adds to the group there. No, he played played hard, real, played really hard at NC State. Um, again, a smart player um, can play multiple positions. He played multiple positions in college, um, but it, we we liked his work ethic in college, and we liked. Um, how smart he was. So again, like like all the rest of them, we're eager to 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 get him out there and see what he looks like in shoulder pads and really just in full speed drills. Because unlike before, normally we would have had OTAs and phase one and two and all these other things, but we are where we are. So um, you know, right now we're, we're just kind of in waiting mode to see what he looks like. Everybody can run around without pads on, but again, the game's played with shoulder pads. Glennon. Thank you, Kim. Uh, hey, Coach Williams. I um, wanted to ask you, go, going back on, uh, on Jeffrey Simmons again, and uh, again, I know you haven't seen him on the field in pads yet, yet this season, but he talked the other day stronger, more mobile and flexible. Now that he's had more time to uh, rehab from that injury. Have, have you been able to notice that yet? You know, despite the fact that you haven't gotten in pads, can you see some differences in the Jeffrey yeah, Simmons? He's, already? He's, he's moving around. He's moving around really good right now. I mean, we were, we've been able to do drills and um, do some of the stuff without pads. And I can tell you, he looks a lot different in, what is it? Uh, August of, 2020 than he did in October of 2019 as far as his movement. So 
I'm excited to, um, again, see what he looks like here going forward. And just a similar question, I guess, uh, as far as strength goes, he looks just from what we've seen maybe on social media or whatever, like a, a stronger, more, more cut guy than he was a year ago. Is, is that the case? I mean, he's already, I mean, he's always been pretty strong. So, I mean, as far as him being stronger, I'm not, I really can't answer that. I just know he looks good from my, my perspective. Teron. Actually, I, I just had my, my couple questions answered in regards to Simmons. So thanks coach. Appreciate it. Yep. Glennon going on a tear there. Uh, Jim Wyatt. Coach, appreciate your time. A couple of mine have been hit, but I'm going to follow up on a few more. A couple of undrafted, Kobe Smith and Tier Tort. What, what did you like about those guys from watching them on film? And does a guy like that have a chance to stick? Or, or how much tougher is a guy like that to stick during an offseason? We didn't have OTAs and mini camps. I guess they're on the clock immediately. Yeah, I, I think, again, it's a challenge because for all of them, because we don't because we're starting um, so late with shoulder pads. But those guys are, you know, Mike has said it. Everybody's going, just because we're starting late, we'll be able to evaluate those guys and we'll do a good job of evaluating them um, with or without the preseason or, or um, you know, the OTAs and all of those things. We got mechanisms in place to evaluate those guys. And, and what we liked about all of those rookies, the three of them, Murchison, Tart, and um, Kobe, is that they come from programs where they were well coached and they and they play hard, and that kind of fits um, fits our team and fits our room. So we're we're excited to work with those guys. And, and I'll ask you one about Isaiah Mack as well. What what does he need to do to kind of elevate him back to where he can be a part of the rotation, the guy that you can count on? Well, it's really we're just going forward with him. Um, you know, last year was last year. He got some rookie um, experiences and made some rookie mistakes. And, um, you know, we're going forward in year two. I think he'll be better. He's had a, a really good off season, worked hard, and, um, and he wants to be better. So we're just going to continue to develop him and just remember that, you know, again, these guys, young guys, undrafted, drafted, he's still a second-year player, um, both he and Jeff, that still learning how to play the game. And we need him to get good fast. But I like kind of the, um, the direction he's going right now. Last question, Paul. Hey, Coach, appreciate a minute. Uh, Wonder about Jack Crawford, who I haven't uh, had a chance to ask anybody about. Uh, your impressions of him, uh, who he might remind us of, and, and what your expectations are out of him. Uh, as far as remind you guys of anybody, I'm, I'm not sure um, the, the, the player that comes to mind. All, all I know about Jack is I was in Oakland when he got drafted. We drafted him in 2012. Um, and he's the guy who plays hard, cares about the game. He's smart. Um, so we're again looking forward to kind of getting him out there and working, but he fits the mold as far as far as what we're looking for, being a hard player, um, smart, and has some position flexibility. So um, we're excited to work with him. Can he can he play all the way up and down the line, or maybe not nose? Yeah, I mean, again, it depends on what we're asking our nose to do that week. I mean, it, it's. I think sometimes when you look at the positions, it, it varies week to week on what we're exactly what we're asking um, the guys to do. So he provides some position flex, just like most of our guys do. So, again, as far as where he's going to play and all of that, we're not sure. And that could change week to week. 